We are going to be looking at a Grignard reaction in this video and we want to synthesize 2-phenylethanol which is drawn here from bromobenzene which is over here and we want to decide whether or not we should react this Grignard reagent with acetaldehyde which is drawn here or ethylene oxide which is drawn here. So taking a look kind of with the acetaldehyde first. So first we're going to have bromobenzene again and we are going to make our Grignard reagent. From here we'll uh, react it with acetaldehyde to see what product we end up with after the reaction. This carbon I'll attack back side then open up the ring and we'll see that we obtain this product. From this product we'll wash this with acid to put on the proton. And this is our product that we get from this Grignard reaction. And obviously as we can see here, this is not 2-phenylethanol, so therefore this is not the correct reagent that we need with bromobenzene. Taking a look over here now with, again, bromobenzene. Again, we'll make the Grignard. And I'm gonna redraw it down here, just for space. This time we're going to react it with ethylene oxide, which is an epoxide ring. This carbon will attack here, or it could attack the other side, doesn't matter. And then this will open up the ring, and we'll obtain this product. Give myself a little bit more space. And after we wash this with acid, we will get this product, which indeed is 2-phenyl ethanol, which is what we were looking for in the beginning. Therefore, the bromobenzene reacting with ethylene oxide is the required uh, reagent that we're going to need to obtain this product. Thank you.